The requirements for this experiment are steel knives with 25 centimeter blades, a large and a small target, and eye tracking goggles that reveal where a knife thrower is looking. They want to determine whether Todd looks at a target differently from an average person. Dr. Heather Berlin acts as the control. The screen will show what each is focusing on, and the data will be analyzed by specialist Dr. Sam Vine. Heather's task, to throw a knife into the red board. So, rock back and lift up, and stretch. Not quite enough oomph. What I'd like you to do is come back a couple of inches. Okay. And do exactly what you just did. Okay. okay so reach up and snap. That's it. Hey. 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 Oh, wow. I was just saying. Nicely done. Very good. <laughs> With Heather's eye movements recorded, the scientists want data on Todd. His target will be much smaller. Incredibly, he will throw one knife into the handle of another. So that's terrific. Now it's going to require accuracy and precision. We're going to see how tight he can focus those crosshairs right on the hub of that knife. Look at that. I mean, that is serious accuracy. There's no doubt about that. Jeez, right in the middle. Right down right the middle. There. Yeah. It almost split that handle in half. And it was a tiny target. I think it's only two and a half centimeters in the diameter. So excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. So now we have information from both of you. Let's compare you guys and see what's going on inside. Let's do it. Dr. Vine has some surprising results. So what we're seeing here is that, that Todd's. Uh, gaze is actually very steady on the back of the, the knife that he's aiming for in the seconds prior to throwing the dagger. So how did I look when I did this? <laughs> well, it's interesting when you compare Todd's data to your own data, um, we see something very different. Um, your visual control and your fixations are much more scattered and much more novice-like, as you'd expect. What tends to happen with, with ordinary people when they're doing target-based events is that their gaze tends to wander. It's very difficult to concentrate down and focus onto a single point. Todd locks on a target with exceptional precision, but the experiment reveals something even more unexpected. Actually, when he initiates the throw at this stage, his eyes move away from the target. So he's actually providing the motor system with all the information he needs to execute the movement and then disengaging eyes from the target. Marksmanship involves the brain handling vast amounts of data at lightning speed, consciously processing 